Hello, this is another Minecraft video. I will be showing you how to install mods. And so, what a mod really is, is it's a file warping the Minecraft jar file, which you will learn about in a second. And by installing mods, I mean the majority of mods. Some mods are different. And so I'm opening Minecraft to show you a very basic mod that I will be using as an example. If you're wondering, I have 1.2.5. These two files are from Forge. I am using 1.2.5. And so, it's kind of lagging up here because it always lags up when I start because I have a ton of mods, but it, it gets better. And so, what a mod really is, is like it, it, too many items, for example. It's a file that warps the Minecraft jar, which we'll learn about in a second. And yeah, that's about it. And so now I will be showing you how to install mod. And so you go under start. Oh wait. First, forgot this. You have to get up wherever your mods are saved. Um these aren't all the mods I have. Some of the files were corrupt, so I had to reinstall them. And some of them just didn't work. So I don't have this many mods. But yeah, I do have a lot. Okay, so you would get this file up, too many items, well, whatever your mod you're installing. And then you would go to App Data. You go to App Data. You go to Roaming. Roaming. And that's a way, but much faster way, the way I do it, is you just type in Run. You type in, well, you don't have to type in anything, really. I mean, unless it's the first time you're going there. Um, I'm not even sure if it's the first time going there, but, okay, so, these are all, like, the files for everything, and so, just go under dot .minecraft, and some mods do require this screen that, like, you drag into this screen, but, um, very few, very few, so, you won't have as many files here as I do, don't worry about that, like, you won't have chocolate, for example, don't know why it's called chocolate. Um, you won't have well, you won't have most of these readme texts. You might have some. I'm really not sure, but you will. You will always have a file called bin. You go under bin, and then go under Minecraft jar. With seven zip, you can just open it up. Um, if opening it up doesn't work, you go open with seven zip file file manager, and then some. Sometimes you'll have a separate option on here called 7-Zip. You can um, you can click on 7-Zip and open archive. And those are three ways to get the Minecraft jar open if just this doesn't work. With WinRAR, just doing that will never work. With WinRAR, um, and I'm not I'm not bad nothing WinRAR. I really really like WinRAR. I would still use WinRAR if it could get as many mods as 7-Zip. It's just 7-Zip is required for more big like bigger and more popular mods otherwise I would still have WinRAR I find WinRAR much easier but they're really not that much different they really really aren't but so with WinRAR you would go open with WinRAR Archiver and so yeah so you go under Minecraft jar however you get into Minecraft jar oh and by the way um one more thing that's very important I don't even know why this is here. If you don't have 7-Zip or WinRAR, download one of them. Don't open it with Java TM. Just don't even open it with that. That's going to bring up a lot of problems. So you go under Minecraft Jar. Uh, you would have all this. And normally you wouldn't have this much, but I have mods. And I have a lot of mods. So, sorry here. I just, I like it better like this. I don't know why. Okay, so you would have too many items. TMI and with WinRAR one of the main thing that makes it so much easier for me this is really one of the only differences with WinRAR you just can highlight it all with 7-Zip I'm not sure if it's crucial I'm probably just being delusional but with 7-Zip you only want to highlight this and I'm pr I, as I said I'm probably just being delusional but with WinRAR you can just highlight whatever the hell you want with 7-Zip well in what I think, you have to be more careful. Other than that, they're really not that much different. I'm not even sure if other than that they're different, but 
Oh, and by the way, the WinRAR icons look much cooler. I forgot to leave that out. 7-zip icons are not as cool. <laughs> I really don't care about that feature, but for all of those who don't want big mods that 7-zip is required to have, get WinRAR, even if you find them just as easy as one another, get WinRAR. The icons look cooler. I really don't care. What if you do? Okay, so as I was saying, so, um, you would copy all this. You don't have to copy paste or anything. You can just highlight it. And then you drag it. You drag it into here. I'm not going to reinstall the mod. That would just be stupid. But you drag this into here. Um, and so it will tell the Minecraft jar file what it needs to do. And so, with that being said, then uh, you're like, ooh, I am going to have a new mod. Da -da 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 -da. You open Minecraft. And you open Minecraft. And I, I've already deleted the file, but you would, like, normally if this was your first mod, you'd go, Oh no! A black screen! Kill Minecraft. Um, when you first get a mod, I've already deleted the file. Most modders have, but there would be a file called capital M, capital E, capital T capital A, meta, and then, well, a little symbol. I'm not sure if it's a slash or a dash. I've forgotten now. If. All caps. And so, if you don't have it, just skip this step. Just skip this step. I'm not even sure if all computers come with it. I think the majority does, but if you don't have it, just do not stress out. If you don't have it, just skip this whole step. Skip this whole step. But, like, but... Chances are you're going to have a file called metainf. And so what you're going to want to do is you're just, it's probably the simplest part. You just delete metainf, and once it's gone, it is gone. You can install other mods. Um, there is one mod I've seen that actually requires metainf. And I'm not sure how that works, but I was going to install it, but when I found that out, I was not going to install it. Wait, what? Second, I don't know what this is. I want color scheme. No. Okay, I, I'm sorry about that. My PC is as good as I'll need it. And so, yeah, that's really about it. You just kill this. And, well, at this time you would minimize them because you might need the files again if Minecraft isn't working. And then you would open Minecraft. And I am using 1.2.5. That mod and texture pack file, I'll tell you again, it was from Forge. Which is actually a very useful mod, even though it's only like the third mod loader. It can tell you what all mods you have. Though Forge does not sense all mods. I have more than nine mods. I have, I have more than nine mods. Nine mods loaded? Well, I have more than that. So, as I was saying. So, you can just, if you have Forge. You can just check Forge. And so, if too many items is there. Let me find it here. Ah, too many items. You have it, but chances are you won't have Forge. Because um, I've tried Mod Loader, should not be the first mod you download. Uh, I'm not sure if it's just me, but it should not be the first mod you download in my eyes. I I'm really not sure if it's just me, it's probably just me, but. And so you go under Minecraft. And you check if it works. Oh crap, just dropped my uranium sword. Okay. And. Yes, it does work. Two many items is a very useful mod, not only for the items, but some mods just don't work, but they also don't crash Minecraft. You can check if mod loader is on before you have Forge. It is very useful, because one thing you don't want to do is you really, you really, really don't want to do this. This would be like the stupidest mistake you can make, is you do not want to download mod loader at wait, uh, mod loader MP before mod loader or forge before either of the two. I actually think they updated forge, so now you only need mod loader for forge. But I always install mod loader MP first just to be safe because it's just essential modding, really. So that is about it, and that's really about it. That's thought this would be a longer video, but yeah, okay. I am out.